Welcome to my thorough NordVPN tutorial. I'll cover everything you need to know on how to use NordVPN to its fullest potential. First of all, you'll need to choose a subscription plan and register. The quickest way to get started is through the link in the description or by scanning the QR code on screen. This way, you'll also get the biggest and latest NordVPN discount available. If you want to try out NordVPN before committing, no worries. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and when you decide to stick with NordVPN, it's not going to cost you that much anyway. Compared to other top VPN providers, NordVPN is budget-friendly and offers industry-leading security, fast speeds, and a robust set of features. Now, if looking at plans, you're still not sure which one's the best fit for your needs, I recommend the Plus plan if you want the full set of features, though the cheapest plan will suit those who only need a basic private VPN connection. After picking the plan and registering, you'll need to download the app. I'll focus on NordVPN tutorial windows. I don't feel like there's a need for a separate NordVPN tutorial Mac conversation because it's really similar to the Windows experience. Anyhow, you can download NordVPN directly from their official website. The installation process is straightforward. Just follow the usual steps, agreeing to terms and granting necessary permissions. Once it's installed, you need to log in, which will open a browser window where you'll enter your credentials. After that, you'll be redirected back to the app. You might see some recommended settings during the first launch, but don't worry, we'll go over these later, so feel free to skip them for now. All right, before I show you the app and what to do next, let's install the app on mobile too. You can download it directly from your phone's app store. Just avoid purchasing NordVPN through the app as the prices there are significantly higher. Instead, scan the QR code or use the link in the description to get an exclusive NordVPN coupon code. Okay. Now that the installation is finished, let's get back on Windows to see what the app has to offer and how to use NordVPN. If you're new to NordVPN, it might seem a bit overwhelming at first, but don't worry, I'll break down each tool in detail to make everything clear. First, for some of you, all that you'll need to do is just to connect to a VPN server. It's as easy as tapping the Quick Connect button. NordVPN will automatically connect you to the nearest and fastest server, and just like that, you're protected. Of course, you can also manually select a server. You'll find over 7,000 servers across something like 120 countries, give or take a few. For example, if I want to connect to Mexico, I can find it in the country list, use the search bar for faster selection, or simply navigate to the interactive map, which is my personal favorite. No matter which method you choose, a single tap is all that it takes to connect. Plus, after using NordVPN a few times, your recent connections will appear for even quicker access. Quite convenient, right? You know what else is convenient? Being subscribed to Cyber News for more tutorials and reviews. All right, so that's the very basics of NordVPN, but next, let's see some of the key features it offers. For connecting to a server, you can also select a specialty server. These servers are designed for specific scenarios and most users won't need them. But to make this a full guide on NordVPN, how to use specialty servers is something we gotta cover. The only ones I personally use are the P2P servers, which are optimized for the fastest torrenting speeds. Meanwhile, a dedicated IP server provides you with a personal IP address from a selected country. Just keep in mind that this comes at an additional cost. Double VPN servers root your connection through two VPN servers, adding an extra layer of security. Onion over VPN takes security even further by integrating with the Tor network, bouncing your traffic through multiple remote servers before reaching its destination. It's incredibly secure, but also slow. Finally, obfuscated servers are for bypassing censorship, whether it's government restrictions or just blocked websites at school or work. Next up is one of NordVPN's most powerful security features, Threat Protection Pro. You can access it here or enable it directly from the home dashboard. Threat Protection Pro is divided into three sections, each designed to keep your browsing experience as secure as possible. Web Protection Pro is the most feature-packed, letting you customize exactly what it blocks, from malicious websites to intrusive ads and trackers. File Protection takes security a step further by scanning your downloaded files for malware before they can do damage. Meanwhile, Vulnerability Detection checks the apps already installed on your device, scanning for potential security risks. You can toggle each of these settings on and off individually, but if you want complete protection without a hassle, simply enable the entire threat protection feature from the home dashboard with a single click and you're all set. Next up on the toolbar is the MeshNet. This feature lets you create secure remote connections, which is perfect for things like accessing files remotely or even hosting LAN parties from afar. 
It works by linking devices together and encrypting the connection for maximum security. And the best part, you don't need a VPN subscription to use it. It's completely free. Moving down the toolbar, we come to the dark web monitor. This feature keeps an eye out for any data leaks related to your account. And if your information shows up on the dark web, it will immediately alert you, helping you stay one step ahead of potential threats. Now, that covers the standout features of NordVPN, so next, let's dig into settings and what you should know about there, starting with the general settings. Most of these options are personal preferences, like choosing whether you want the app in dark or light mode. Everything here is pretty straightforward, with handy descriptions explaining each option. For example, the launch the app on startup button is exactly what it sounds like. Now, diagnostics doesn't come with a description, but you don't really need it, unless the app isn't working quite right. Lastly, there's the optional background processes button. Just a heads up, if you turn this off, it will disable key features like the kill switch and the ability to maintain your VPN connection when you close the app. So let's not touch that and keep it on. For those who don't know what a kill switch is, you can find it right here in the settings, and it's quite an important feature for privacy. If your internet connection becomes unstable, the kill switch will either cut the internet on your device entirely or shut down the selected apps, depending on the option that you choose. Just make sure to enable one of these options. Another thing that is a must cover is VPN protocol selection. This feature is what powers and protects your VPN connection. I recommend leaving it on automatic so the app can adjust the protocol based on your network and needs. Alternatively, you can choose NordLinks if performance is really important to you since it's the fastest but still secure protocol option. Next up is the auto connect feature, which is a must have for me, especially since I frequently use public Wi-Fi where security is never guaranteed. You can set NordVPN to automatically connect under certain conditions, but if you drop down the menu, you can even choose exactly which server to connect to. I've set my home Wi-Fi as a trusted network since I don't need VPN protection at all times when I'm on my own secure network. The remaining settings in this section are for advanced users and typically only relevant in very specific situations. But if you'd like more details, just leave a comment and I'll gladly fill you in. Next up is split tunneling. With this feature, you can choose to either disable the VPN connection for specific apps or enable it only for certain ones. For instance, Steam or Spotify doesn't require a VPN, so I can add them to the list to bypass the VPN connection. Just make sure the app you want to select is already open, otherwise you won't see it on the list and you will have to browse through your program files. Okay, but what if you use NordVPN on mobile and is it going to be very different? Well, not really. The app is very similar. There are some differences, but on mobile, it's actually even easier to find what you need since all the settings are in one area. One quick thing to note though, if you're looking for split tunneling and you can't find it on your iPhone or Mac, that's because sadly it's not there. But that's not a NordVPN problem. No other VPN has this feature available for Apple devices either. Now, if you want a more thorough NordVPN tutorial for mobile devices or just want to see how things look different on Mac, I've got a completely different NordVPN beginner tutorial for all NordVPN supported devices on the screen now. As for this NordVPN guide, it's time to wrap it up. So if you're about to get NordVPN, don't forget to use my discount on the screen and in the description. Thanks for watching and see you around.